that's that's in, that's 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 so much of the damage cap. I can't even fathom this shit. Well, it's meant to be an insta kill, so yeah. Yes. Yes. Make sure yes, yes, it is. You gotta make absolutely sure. Yeah, it's, it's it's just like you know what? I don't want you here. Delete button. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Basically, spider. That's why I just hey, like so that's, um, that damage. That's uh, Izanami's game, isn't it? Yeah. No, that was that was um, no, that was Yumi's game. My bad. Yeah, Yumi's. Yeah, it was Yumi's game. That was three one. All right. Now, uh, you evil skip. So I'm fighting the winner of Red Light Roses versus Blake for Life, the rematch. And then uh, me and Shark will play after that. But hang on, let me link this up and uh, Majin, what'd you say? Bro, so you're telling me, right? I gotta spend twenty dollars to play the game, get the get Blaze Blue Tag Ball, right? Yeah, to play, yeah to get so Yama. Yeah, now want, we're doing right? losers. To get the yeah. two characters I want, I have to spend uh, five dollars so and twenty-five dollars. Blake for life. Hang on, wait. What are the what are the characters you're looking for? I want to play Merkava and Susano, bro. Susano should be base roster. He's base roster. Susan okay. is DLC. He's part of. Yeah, he's part of DLC. Neo. And you gotta buy oh, okay. him for twenty five fuck. You gotta buy him for twenty five fucking dollars, bro. Who else comes with him? Uh, uh Susan, Neo, see. Naoto, Teddy. I think so. Because I, I know, I know Naoto and Teddy came together. So that's why I didn't uh, know was, they, was that with that bundle. I recall that's why I'm thinking Susan, right Neo, Naoto, Teddy. It says right here you get Yumi. Tell everybody, because I know a, a good bit of space. Yeah, oh, you two can begin. So you get what? Yumi, Akasa, yeah, but yeah, people are saying you just buy the first one and just buy the whole thing. I agree. Who are half? Who are half of these characters? Just do that and buy everything. All right. You can get the whole game with all the deals for twenty dollars at the moment. Oh, we got another movie matchup. We're one game short. I say, um, actually, Majin, wait till it's on sale because we've when it's on sale, you can literally just get the um the special edition for like like what? It's like twenty dollars. The special edition I think is like maybe twenty. Four twenty-five ish, and then they give you all the DLC literally for that, rather than going spending more bang for your buck. Uh, I mean, that depends on if we just care to. If anything, just do it for the sake of matchup purposes, so you can ladder one in the game if you need to. All right, so Red was on the leading curb here. The four can connect. I'm seeing a lot of Ruby and Blake here. I could actually make this particular one for number ten. I can make this one Ruby. Th I can make this thumbnail design Ruby themed. I wouldn't be totally wrong, except for yeah, exclusion of the Weiss. Yeah, I've heard a lot of Ruby characters going around. I just want to see a Weiss. I'd pick her Weiss up if it just didn't seem if it just didn't seem so appealing to not play her. So the thing is, Weiss is just kind of Ravna with shit. <laughs> just I'm gonna hold you to that because I don't know. Minus Gauntlet Hades. That's just kind of what the kind of her in a nutshell. Ravna with boobs minus Gauntlet Hades. So you mean to tell me if I pick up? Ragna, then I should be learning a similar toolkit or similar neutral kit with Weiss. Not necessarily. Weiss's toolkit revives revolves right, around her. Blake for life will things. take the first okay. game. Her two ways really stubby though. So close up, her lows aren't super good. Well, if you're so yeah, her, her mixing, like her so her mixing great, is variable. Like Depends on how you want to put it. Because her two seats fantastic. It's, What's it's the two seat button on her? Really, her her two C is literally a uni two C. Oh. It is a literal uni two C. Then again, the Ruby characters are kind of made for this game, so everybody has a uni two C really. It's up Neo. We don't talk about her though. Well, her, all of Neo's buttons aren't aren't bad. I can't I can't knock on. Oh no, her. Neo's a genuine like upper mid tier character. It's just yeah. she has a high skill curve because of her low damage and her weird neutral. Weiss but then again, low, de but low damage that make up for the fact of um. I could believe that midnight. I could, because I th that's probably may explain why there's not that many of her. Yeah, because yeah, because if you need to learn the um the glyph dash cancel for to get her good combos like hide, you just issue that hide has where her basic combos don't do a lot of damage, but the more advanced stuff does. But the advanced stuff is really difficult to get a hold of. Ooh, armor, Wasn't it I you? It. I think it was either you or one of Moxie, Moxie's friends that told me about that, that told me about that you'd have to learn that whole glyph setup process to really get down the the, be, the better version of her neutral. To get her good confirms, yeah. But to be fair, it's an extra thousand damage. So like the extra a thousand to twelve hundred damage really irks you that much. You can learn it. That's not Depends bad. How you want to look at it. Yeah, but you miss out on but you know a thousand to twelve hundred can literally be life and death sometimes. So. Depends on how bad you want to optimize. 
We can optimize. He doesn't have to have a couple right aqua roots on play. Ooh, oh, damn, we got whip punished. See, whip I knew some, something sounded wrong. No, Neo is upper mid tier, she is low tier, and just to confirm, I'm looking at tier lists right now. Don't, conf don't listen to too many of the tier lists. If you're looking at the older ones, the newer ones, they're looking at... What he's talking about is looking at Neo in terms of the competitive aspect. She yeah, is, is she is in mid tier. Is upper mid, she is low tier. Most of the tiers will put her low tier because of her bad damage. Cause she's, like, yeah, we're looking at the damage aspect. We're stuff. looking at the toolkit by itself, not the damage output. Yeah, when I talk about her, I talk about her as a whole, and a lot of the players I'm around say she's like genuinely at least mid or high tier. Like I'm putting her in the middle and saying she's upper mid because she's upper she's mid at basic. You learn her like regular B and Bs and get everything down. But when you really get to the nitty gritty, true carry sits there and claps everyone in the big eight with a carry that barely does any damage. But that goes to show that that she definitely can put it on the table when she tries. I mean, but yeah, right, we it's about, one about one. her good stuff though. All of her good stuff like higher damage, better Oki, and better setups. You need to learn her land count tool. Like, only have a couple frames to land per land cancel. Yeah, white shoes land cancels are hard. So that's like the thing that makes her difficult. You need to learn to really get the big damage. As for Neo, yeah, her mix is strong, but that's to balance out her damage. For example, I get the chip damage. So because of the chip damage, they have to balance him out by making his regular combos not do as much. Six in their Susan, who has really like, linear and basic combos. But gets high damage off them. So it's basically like, okay, you sacrifice your neutral for damage. Neo has really good neutral, some of the best air to air buttons in the game, fantastic ground buttons, a two hitting two C, where both hits are special cancelable. On top of a two B that makes her airborne, so her two B can beat throw on some occasions. She has multiple teleport left or right. She can high low you for free. If she has so many good pluses, he's, if she had high damage, Neo would be a top tier. Who doesn't block in time, unfortunate? But regardless, um, Neo kind of had to have bad damage to make it fair. And plus, if you block some of her mix up, she is pretty open. Ooh, Red oh, getting challenge. his way back. Now, Red can't kill the Yang here, but Red seems like they might try to go for it anyway. Holy crap. Hey, yeah, Red's going for it anyway here. So much damage off of a challenge. It's gonna trigger. It's gonna put Yang in I burn state, which is gonna be a problem. Uh, she had a real assist and a functioning two three six BC. She'd be fantastic. Yeah, but yeah, Neo doesn't need her damage. Neo has fantastic mix up, and that's more. That's more than enough compensation for everything else. Yeah, bad assist is overkill, but that just means that she's meant to be a front runner. She's meant to be the one doing all the mixing, and then her assist is meant to help you in neutral. Cause her six P is, I will admit, her six P is, her six P and five P are pretty good. Match Though point her four P's are only burst punish, which is the problem. Like Neo's only burst punish is four P. Like none of other, none of her other assists can burst punish because none of them have the hit duration. Get ready. So her assists, well, I guess the main, are the main really assist bad. on her is she literally meant to be neutral based assists, not to be comboing or damaging based assists. It's just neutral. I mean, you can use them in you can use them in uh combos. I've done it with. I played Neo Nauta when she dropped because I really wanted to stick with her, but changed my mind. Uh, most of the mixed up characters at least have, have a decent assist. At least decent. I mean, she has her four mm. piece. That's the best assist she fair, has. Fair. Fairly decent. I will admit though, her having such bad assists and having no real compensation that isn't her overall game plan. Those kind of suck. So you're not wrong. I do agree that she does deserve a better assist. But, what, sadly, we're not the ones who designed her, so we're not the ones who go in with the game plan here. Alright, Red in a pretty commanding lead right now. And they're talking about Neo. If we see other Neo, we'll talk about her some more. So Neo gets, let me, speaking of, excuse me, Blake gets socked, but Yumi gets out unscathed. Tries to punish the Yang, but the Yang gets tagged out into Ruby. Ruby now laying in, laying in, but now Blake comes in and says, no, hands off my woman. Yang is swinging at hot air. DP, get off me. Mix up. Guess this mix. Block. Get out of here. All right, it's just Blake for life on the last legs here. He's a connect to Yang. He's a connect to Yumi though. Burst up just before it's too late. Goes for the throw, but no punish. The DP misses entirely. Goes for the throw. Good crap. So Ross not to trust the old tools, which is fine, but I'm looking at one that was 10 days ago. 
Yeah, a lot of people will still say she's low tier. Like I personally, like a lot of, like I said, a lot of people I I see say that she's like upper, like high tier to mid. So it just depends on who you ask. Those are the command grab, but it misses. Damn. What? Wait, whoa, we won't Red, talk about doing? that. Oh, I know. Uh, if you're trying to go for the actual, they didn't Maybe have enough health for it anyway. Yeah, didn't have enough for it. It made sense to try and set that up right there, two, even though you were three, risking one. it all. So what, back two, two, three, one? Three, one I'm not... But I don't know if that's two, two, or three, one. That's three, one. Ah, uh, okay, I didn't that's know who that was. Game, that's set, match, decision. Red coming back with a vengeance. Red will take it. 3-1. Good job, right, Red. Let me get... Let me get Shark and... Myself. Basically. I think another good team I saw was, um... Ne I played Neo Batista. Because the, I I, the neutral was good. Um, Batista played well by herself because she could force out... Alright, Shark, let me go ahead and get uh, Shark. A lot of stuff. Uh, Batista could play by herself pretty well. It doesn't matter if she's designed to be a point. She has no good assists. You can't have you can't have your point character all the time. At least if you want to actually get better and win. I mean that's true. But then take my main team. My main team is Naoto S. S is the point. She's meant to be doing most of the effort, and then Naoto to spam 4P. You're right. I can't always have S there. But the fun of the but the point of the matter is you can your comp is formulated around protecting the leader. The assists. The person who's providing all the assists can play by themselves while the leader heals back up, and then when they're at a point where you want to play them again, you can go ahead and swap them back in whenever. Also, Raj, you're free to go ahead and fight whenever, by the way. Don't oh, mind me. Hey. Okay. Alright, then you and Red can be ready once this once this finishes up. You guys can go ahead and continue continue talking. I'm gonna just go ahead and do my thing. But um it's real but the thing is um yeah you can you can never have your point out forever, but you can still try to your best to have your point out for as long as possible. That, that's a given given the game like tag where you can explode off one hit, so you, you can never have your point for but you can try to protect your point as best you can. And that's the point. Like, yeah, it cre but it creates, also creates this issue of where the assist dies. Oh, we still have an intro? We have an intro? That's sick. Be gone, thought. My, my, I don't believe you have the authority to give me orders, Mr. Hero. All right, got Hakum and Rachel versus Silica Yang. Let's see how this goes. And five X. Oh, that round star cheese, bro. I mean, Silica has Ragnas has Ragnas uh, five A, but better. Because there's a seven frame button that goes even farther. The cop with the two A. That's dead Hakum. Her two way goes decently far. Ooh. That look at Jason is my favorite button in the game. Well, it was one of my favorites. I love it. Imagine if Heart had to look at JC. Frog. No confirming the frog though. Yang comes in and has the momentum. Gets the tag with the 5 A and it should be death. Alright, that's Damn, gonna be time in a while I actually get that frog one. set up and I can't remember what to do on it. I can make one. Ugh, if I decide to play this game again, I have to get PS Plus, the literal worst thing about PS4 net play. I have to pay for the game, the service, and the online services. I mean, we have rollback now, so it's not so bad. Yeah, so it's not, a, it's not a loss. As long as, we, as long as we're not playing on McDonald's Wi-Fi, you're fine. No, they're, if they're on McDonald's Wi-Fi, there's nothing you can do about that. It's over. It's Jover at that point. <laughs> Girls, if you do? don't want to buy Rollback Netco is in the comments for having to pay for online services. I mean, valid. Counter. 
Ooh, that's a heavy burn. That's that? not good at all. So like a two-way, my friend. Get acquainted with it. Bang. Minerva, calm down. Heal it. Up, oh, never mind. I'm not having birthday, oh no! Boop! Bopped her nose. Real clean. No dual intro? Understandable though, that was a DHC. I would have never guessed these two out of the intro, I'm gonna be honest. Out of all the Ruby, I would expect her and Ruby to have an intro. All right, this is Rod's last chance to get to, to make something happen here. Yes, sir. No, I'm sticking with the hot, sticking it out with the Hockam and Rachel. I don't know what's going on. DP, get off me. Don't. Give me your head. You don't need it. Ooh, that's a heal confirmed. Gotta hit him, Felica here. Reject. I love the fact that they gave her the JC. I love it. Bro, get off me. Playing guilty just drive now. Damn, can't even like that. Okay, I gotta definitely shake the rest. That is so three zero comms, for Shark. Forgot, forgot the comp. That's good shit. Counter, 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 counter. Basically. Just... Shark will take that three zero against Rodimus. It's a three zero scenario. All right. Next, let me get Red Roses and you, Ooh. and then Shark. Don't be too far, Hana. And you will be next after that. And since game and streamer being a good play now, it's actually good. Now, okay, now that makes sense. I probably need to see it enough times that way I can probably see how to react to it. I can play her for a bit. I know a, I know a tiny bit of Celica. I know a tiny bit. A little smidge, you know. Have you dabbled with that team shell, I guess, for, for S Celica? I actually play a different team for Celica entirely. I play Celica now, though. Gotcha. Alright, Red Roses, let me know where you is. I played a lot of funny Kuragane shows for the sake of learning Kuragane with different supports. In case I ever got play S Astral and I lost my other characters, too. Fair enough. I want to that's either going to be the next, that's either the gonna be the next one or the 12th one. I haven't decided yet. Well, I really wanted to um, learn a small pocket of characters in case my mains get astral for whatever reason. But in that case, I usually lose anyway. I'm I play the you have fun Naruto when you have high as backups. Yeah. yeah, but the problem is um, I don't like playing high desk because their combos aren't the most consistent thing on the planet. 
On top of the fact they struggle to kill an opponent very- I struggle to kill an opponent. Uh, in this game. Like, mm. The literal issue is a lot of their hit- like, Hype's like, 5B combo is very finicky because if they're too high, you have to delay the 5B by literal frames. But if you delay it too much, it won't hit. If you do it too fast, it won't hit. So he enters this weird gray area where you just have to take work. a wild guess and swing at it. Or just do 5B and jump cancel. And just hope it works. I played Silica for fun a lot in this game since I played her in Central Fiction. She's just way worse than BB Tag. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, the first, I, like you could say she's I definitely had, I, way worse. I never, I never lapped her actually over there on Central Fiction. How did her combo so, structure see, work? So basically a lot of... She was like, um... She's like a lot of driver, like, she's like Noelle, actually. Noelle's like super driver lion, and if you just didn't have drive, the character wouldn't function. I think Celica is sort of similar in that fashion, where a lot of her neutral and her combos derive from her drives if she had the corner. Aside from that, she was just a pretty mediocre Shoto. Also, she didn't have an invul DP, it had armor, but no invul. In some sense, could you say that an armored DP or an armored reaction move works for having invulnerability? Works as a compensation for, for invulnerability? Well, it's just because of the fact that she already she had decent everything out. Yes. Her everything, I don't know why I chose to give her an armored DP. I guess it sort of made sense. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. Because usually DPs have invul frames, so this is the first... In a while, I'm hearing of, a, uh -oh. of a DP that has armor and not invul frames. So I'm thinking is that's a fair trade-off. I'm not entirely sure on if it, if you consider it fair or not. I didn't think you were gonna commit to the five B like that because I wasn't in five B range. Uh, hang on, chat. I'm gonna look in just a second. Yeah, I don't know why. Did well, we pick up on that? Gabe, I didn't run! I ran forward! I hate it here. Damn. I ran forward! It didn't give it to me because I saw the jump and I was trying to react to it. The thing is, all you have to do is get her drive buff, but when someone hits you while you don't have 100% life in that game, uh, it's opposite. You don't get the buff unless you have no recoverable life. Basically, you see if she gets hit and she's winning in the in BB attack, she gets hit. Yeah, she literally just dies if she gets hit by anything in this game. It's like if she fights Hyde, she will never have her buff because all of Hyde's normal. All of Hyde's so never have her buff. Yeah. Yeah, so she'll never have the buff. But in fighting anyone else, she can probably play the game no matter how bad the matchup is. I need to focus on this rather than give commentary on Celica. Oh, take your time. Alright, so let me see. So, you didn't have 100% life, it's opposite, you don't get the buff. So here, she gets a buff for having, for basically not getting touched is, is, is good for her. Oh, I thought you were going to other side. Central Fiction, where it's a benefit for her to get hit. Because, uh, I think she has her own special recoverable life in that game. Right, right. Ayo. That fan has so much range, old boy. I had no bar. Ah, I thought I'd get the cross up. I jumped. You did 2A, you potato! Oh, that potato's eating fries now. See, look, I'm bad. 
I want to play hide Yumi here, but it, I but fighting fire with fire with fire isn't my specialty. On top of that, the issue is Blake because I'm having a hard time fighting her neutral. Understandable. I just see I like, to see uh Red like, found her comfort team though. She's definitely picked it up compared to last time. So this is with her Yumi. Her Yumi is way more on point than before. I need to just figure out a way hey, to stop these left right. To let them happen is really no bueno. Of course, it's too early. Oh, damn. This is a two way again. I did super, but whatever. Tight mix option. Oh, damn, we missed the subtle happy birthday. I couldn't. Oh, right, it's Aerial Rave. I was like, I could have burst, and then I remembered it was Aerial Rave. It's fair and balanced game mechanic. Absolutely. I didn't want that. I didn't want that. Like, when I initially thought about it, because I thought about it and then did it. I might live with a tiny little bit, possibly, maybe, not really. Oh. No, I'm dead. I'm pretty sure. Cause it keeps wearing balance. I live. Damn, that was a lot of neutral. <laughs> uh, it's fighting Blake, dude. The Damn. team is so frustrated. This team is so frustrating. I can't fight that character right now. It's, it's I'm not playing tag frequently confirm. enough. I'm not fighting this team for to really get the read on Blake. GG's right, GG's. Red is past me at this point. I need to step up my game. Me and Red used to be equals, but now she's gone past me real quick. That is the 3 0 scenario. Ugh. Hurts my pride a bit, but oh well. If you oh, like spider, that. I tell you, that's crazy. Crazier than catfish sometimes. All right, so now we have Let me Izanami get... versus uh, Shark and losers. Correct. And then after this, Master Chief and Midnight Yumi, you two get ready for your winners' finals showdown. Izanami and Shark, go ahead and get you two. Uh, I feel so j I feel jaded now. Like, I feel mad at myself. Like, I feel like I should have done better, but it's like this matchup was so rough for this team. You're not only fighting Yumi, who just by definition slaughters me. I'm fighting a Blake, a character who just wins due to a superior neutral. Because I can't really out neutral her, because five B can just swat most of what I try to commit. So is it safe to say that jumping and or s pending safe jumps is probably the way to approach carefully, or you have to have the assist kind of take well, the Well, no, if I, if I get in on Blake, she really can't do much, because her DP's good, but it's not, like, good good. I can still beat it with certain setups. It's just Yumi's the problem, because Yumi's the anchor. So the moment it gets down to Yumi, it's a matter of I literally cannot make a mistake or else. So is it safe to say that you want to try and kill Yumi first on that team in order to deal with a I Blake mean, anchor over a Yumi anchor? I mean, yeah, I'd rather fight Blake and Grover Union. I get more chances to make mistakes, at least. 
that shouldn't be something you look for, but it's still nice to have a cushion, really. To not be fighting a character who will blow you up for a small thing. Correct. Yeah, that's why I was just pointing right, so That's why I was just saying, because sometimes this, you want to try and think so of like a lesser or two nice. poisons kind of thing. I probably should have just played hide uh, Yumi. Or just played Yumi Or should have played uh, S hide. But at the same time, though, hide can't bypass uh, Blake zoning because Blake zones are physical hit rather than. Understandable, Ren. That makes so that it, makes sense because I, like, I believe that she's got the, like Blake's got the chip damage to definitely get it in when she's at anchor, but I don't think that she's not made to be a comeback based character. Blake's kind of like hide. Like when it boils down to it, they they can do it. They become real characters the moment they get res, but until then they're kind of just yeah, don't try it. I'm about to say as a whole, I think Hyde could do it a bit better than her. But yeah. I mean, yeah, because Hyde Hyde is more neutral focused and more meant to focus, more meant to punish you trying to uh, zone and do Shoto stuff. Right, right. He's kind of meant to be like the anti Shoto in that sense, despite him being a Shoto himself. All right, and Shark gets one up on the board. I want to set up some more time to grind, but I, but my schedule's been so inconsistent. Blake has given us like 214 AX and Fire Clone Baits, which are kind of how I play Blake Anchor. Yeah, use a lot of your baits to do left right into uh, getting, trying to just string your straight hits together. That's what I've seen from what uh, Red does. Red, Red Blake, and you. Just you, try, you just try to string whatever hits you can get together. Like, Blake is good at finding, as I opinion, I think Blake is good finding straight hits. Like, that's one of her specialties. She's really good at finding them. I think if anything, the hard part is just making sure that those hits stick and getting good Oki out of it. Alright, so I can get this hit. Who won the first game? Was it Shark? Yeah, Shark won the first game. Okay. I'm going over you guys' yep. cards now. Hang on. As Midnight knows Ruby, Hana is a Yang. No, I wasn't talking Rose about um, you, Ren. I'll talk about uh, uh, the other you, the other Blake players. You guys know who you are. Yeah. I'm not good with names, okay? Leave me alone. I'm an old man, alright? Uh, Blake for life. Let me know what character you wanted on the top eight still, and I go and I can make that. Bon, bon, oh. I know you play Ruby and Yang, so that's why I said, uh, just let me know which one. Ooh, nice confirm. Move for AC could be a cross up, but you can delay it to be the same size. So when people want to try to mash on it, if you mix it up, like two one for A or two two C, debate a mash or D to get a combo. Not that Blake Yuzu Blake work together and life gets easy. Um, you can. Well, I mean, I was gonna Blake take a bit more time, but I can do them both. I can do them I both think, in a still. I think Yuzu Blake. I think Yuzu Blake works well. That was Spider talking about it. I think. Yuzu yeah, it be and Blake. Yuzu Riha. Oh, right. Sexy sword chick. That does I'm work. I'm so confused. That's confirmed I'm so confused city. What's going on in chat right now? I'm lost. Are we talking about characters? Are we talking about putting characters on the on the on the card and the top eight screen? I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm oh, no, I was talking about. No, I was talking about putting characters on the on the card stuff. I mean, in chat. But what's what, going um, on there? No, what Spider was talking about with Yuzu and Blake. That sounds like a really good team. I think I fought that before I mean, in one of the exhibitions. I think it's a good team. Kinda, I think it's just the consistency of how to make each assist of, um, work together. I think the assists work well together. It's just they have a hard time killing. That too. Because the thing is, they're both uh, multi-hitting attack and distortions. So they'll have an issue with them. Um, Blake uses actually really good. Using teleport plus Blake 6 speed can be free neutral. Yeah, like it has good. It's like Neo Vat. Good neutral, good combos, good Oki. You know, the damage isn't there. You just don't get to really make your hit go um, to get your kill, I think. But the issue boy is something you can you can put the food on the plate and you just can't finish it. You look good while you're playing with your food though, you know? Got all them left right teleports and all that shit. You fit Ruby and Shiragane on the thing for me? Yeah I can. Oh, it's gonna take a bit to edit that, but yeah, I can definitely go ahead and edit that in that fashion. Let me, let me put that down in my notes now, so that way I can do it that way. I know I got what, two still. You want to know what you could do? Oh yeah, do, what about if yours, you want to, uh, If you want to do a cute little screenshot, you could do, um, for the 
Ruby Naoto. You could do Ruby doing gunshot and then Naoto coming in to do 6P. And you just screenshot them side by side. That'd be, I think that'd be perfect. If you just didn't want to go, if you don't want to go look at the fan art, of course. Wait, I can, how do That's I put that up opinion. in the game? Uh, basically, do Ruby, and then after at the moment you do 214B, you do 6P. And then you hit pause and get rid of the UI. Alright, to be a dead as soon as, we finish, as soon as we finish this up here, I might need to do go do that and try that out. That way I got you on stream so you can help me figure that out. It's pretty easy. That's how I got the um, Naoto S screenshot I gave you. Oh. I just did a little bit of editing. If you want more time to set it up properly, you can always just trigger resonance places and finish it in training mode. Also, Ethan Ami takes game two. Go making it Anna one Ana goes up two on the board. As we are on match point question, Marco. Death by Ability and Paper Cut is how I describe it. Yeah, that's her character archetype. She's basically Seth, but Ruby. Honestly, if she had more team talk, I'd... Honestly, if I had more team talk, I'd play Blake Seth, honestly. I like Seth enough as a character to play him. I just don't have anyone I'd want to commit to playing him with. I have, like, three different teams where I actually do want to play Seth. That was one crazy TRM. I missed it, sadly. Because I'm blind. Oh, I'm telling you. But it's okay. We're going to see it happen again. Shark taking a breather here. A, lot, a thing that not a, a lot of us hot, a lot of us newbies don't like doing. Let's just get back in there. She's cool around Seth. Seth, Seth hey, it's definitely good upgrade. to take a breather sometimes. Yay! More S representation. I mean, uh, <clears throat> uh, Sharks playing S. I'm not going to be rooting for them to win at all. I'm going Absolutely. to be unbiased. Extremely, and we're gonna see Shark running in with the main squeeze. Hey, you are an S appreciator, an S connoisseur. I don't, I don't blame you. There's a lot that comes on the table with S. Ooh, running the Nase color for Celica. Respect. She's cooler than Seth, and not as edgy. Facts. I wish they showed an interaction. They should, honestly. But then I guess it kind of makes sense that you don't really interact in many contexts. Luckily, this combo isn't giving her any potential life, so luckily, in this situation specifically, she ended up not losing any actual life. She lost both regular life and potential life. Also, I love her. I love her uh, 5B2B. It's so cute. Oh, damn. Celica, Celica is cute, though, honestly. Oh, no! Is he unblockable? That unblockable do daddies, bro. Get her out of here. She's out. All right, we're good. Doesn't spin the bar to get over the EX or the, the shooter Parmedes. EX orbiter connect, but this isn't Unis. That's because it was the five B. You like chips? Well, get the confirm. I don't blame you. That that whole meaty oh, command grab the, setup almost feels like it's unfair to react to. But it's so, but it's so good when I when I see well, that shit. Is, well, the funny part is, I think it's something eerily similar. Yeah, yeah. That is two one for Izanami. Izanami going on a tear right now. No, that's no, that's set. Oh, that's set. Mm -hmm. That's set. Oops. That is the well, game the match decision. All right, now we're gonna have Red Light Roses fighting Izanami no Mama. I know what I said. Alright, next let me get the happen. Because some people have the same base tag and I have to sit there and do all this extra effort just to get around it. My favorite. Oh, the way I get around that since I own name everybody differently, or I put a parenthesis with their name well, no, sometimes the if they have well, the a different connotation. Is, the same base tag. So if their base tags are similar, it's harder to get around it. I know, that's what I'm saying. If they have same base tags, that's fine. But what I also try and do is I change their screen names to match their names in game sometimes. That way you can literally just tag the screen name and you don't have to worry about tagging their actual account name. True. Yeah, because that was like a weird sorting system that I actually try to I try to work with. Yeah.
All right, people, bets and right, predictions are going to be going up in one minute. Going on, going up against Midnight Yumi, Yumi Naoto versus Ragna Mika. Let's see how this ends up going along. All right, predictions will be up in just a second as soon as I finish writing this. Now and then I will step cake. away for a second because I have to go put a pizza in the Ovano. You know, I want to hook a pizza too, but we have spaghetti tonight. To be fair, you have a similar pasta, it's just a different presentation. Yeah, they're both starches, but it's like, I don't want to eat too much starch, you know, I'm trying to watch my weight. I know what you mean. Alright, Yumi's gonna start off strong, getting these hits. Lock the overhead. Go for the throw I'm gonna get ready here. to do that now. All right, bets are up now, people. Bets and predictions are up now for when go down between Masters Chief and Midnight Yumi. Looking good so far. Chief having two characters first and Yumi's one. Useless. Pay attention. Gauntlet Hades. I heard the big PP death spike. Oh yeah, that's a big GG death spike, alright. You're dead, by the way. Not strong here. Tubi doesn't work. Tubi is in the button. Gauntlet Hades. Nice tag. Give me your life. You don't need it. God, I hate how me how cocky Mika is. It makes you want to strangle her. Very confident little girl. I hope one of those dumbbells falls on her head. Some victory animations they do. It used to happen more often. Match point question mark if I heard the correct connotation. Yeah, I think it was a match point. I also heard a Dachi switch here. I got a Dachi Ruby here. Ooh, we got the the shades of Sykes. Sykes, you better make him proud. Those of y'all that know the homie oh. Sykes, that's another former challenger well, of the dead. grand end game here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that didn't last long. Don't worry, it's Adachi. He's the best character in the game. He's fine. I'm probably not rooting for Adachi to lose. Oh, he tries to punish the burst, but just a super jump on accident. Or maybe it was intentional, who knows?
Just hit with the two. Hit with the uh the whatever that is. I don't play Raga, so I don't know what it is. Gauntlet Hades from down the town. Oh damn, that was a beautiful punish. If it went in. No, he missed. Finish. Unfortunate. Damn, that was a goaded punish. No, he almost got see me, me get hit by Brafa Bell. You really wanted that little girl to get clocked, didn't you? Yes. Yes, I do. Fair enough, but it just it very rarely happens in a victory screen. Mostly because of my PTSD in uni. I hate that thing. <laughs> Fair enough. As an Osprey player, I dislike it immensely. Yeah. Anyway, Cheap takes it 3-0, I believe? Yes, that is correct. Yep. Alright, next Cheap up is Red versus Izanami, uh, the gang player. Alright. Y'all two can begin Roses whenever you're ready. And Red, you two can begin. Alright, this is B deciding the winner for Losers Finals, and then this person goes to end up fighting Master Cheap. And the winner of this is going to fight Cheap, and then the winner of this goes to go, go get to that run back on Yumi. Let's see who wins this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, shit. Wait, hang on. I, well, I, I messed up the... Hang on. I messed that up. What you mean? No, I meant uh, the winner's finals call thing here. I, I typed it the other, the other way around. Both of them had the M word. Don't worry about it. Just, remember, just make sure you remember when you're tallying the scores. Ooh, Red went back to her nine Blake show. This is a treat to see. I haven't seen her, I haven't seen her play nine all night. Ooh, gets a double hit. Ooh, but drops to confirm though. Big sad. Uh, it's the neutral with sorcery to it. No matter how hot nine is. I mean, um, how fantastic a character is, Smile. Absolutely, and I agree. Yeah, there's so many great things about her character, like um, her spells and um. How she got caught with a low? Uh, Thank good. She spells on a lot of people. I love this distortion, by the way. Dire Vortex is a beautiful thing. Mix incoming, yep. Good break. Oh damn, he's Wait. in there. You gonna let Hyde die? Hyde doesn't die! He lives! Doesn't choose the poke. And I'm dead! Dance that right on the tip of the orbiter. Gets the Hyde. Alright, so now it's the 1v1. Battle of the Ruby members. Counter. It's the battle of the girlfriends. Who, alright, who's gonna tell what they're fighting over, boys? Um, so what happened was, um, Yang uh talks some smack about Ruby and uh Blake didn't. Oh no, Yang talks some smack about um Sun and Yang didn't, Blake didn't like it at all. So that our throwing fist cup and Blake died. Damn. <laughs> the end. Bro, and that Blake was died. So the fast. end. <laughs> Don't you love how her the EX gun knuckle can link into 236 BC? Cause she needs it. Hey, links are good, but damn. I tell Cause you. she needs it. Smile. Right, that's the first game that will go to home. First game going to easy not easy not nama no mama. Get ready. Get ready. Let's see if Blake can oh, yeah, let me go out and cash out you guys' predictions with. out there since you waited so graciously. Hang on. Now we rated with pitchforks waiting for you to show up. Now we can destroy you. Excellent. I've been waiting. You came right into our trap. Mm -hmm. All right, predictions are going to be going up now between, well, well, in a minute actually, I got to write it, between Hana and Red Roses. Oh, I already have the prediction pulled up from last time. Hang on. All right, predictions are up now. Bets and predictions are up now for the Red Roses and. Kind of weird for a second, but Red Roses and Hana. All right, he's Namino Yamino Izanami is hurting over here. 
Oh, he's a nominal like, mama. This left right is godlike, bro. Is get, you get the left right, and it's a bunch of shit. Alright, Hyde's getting tagged here. The yeah, there's actually a kind of godlike. It's left right, and you gotta hold it, no. and you get chipped out Why by it. buttons? Stop hitting buttons in my house. You know what? It's my house now. Never mind. Damn. It takes it takes one hot tempered woman to stop the reversal scenes. <laughs> one more scene. I love this scene. Bro, that was so. What the? Six K unburstable. Bro, hold. Bro. Hi, confirm. Let's go to the, the corner. We go, boys. Bro, the orbiter bomb. What the hell did I just see? I ain't to steal that confirm. I ain't to steal that when I land throws. If you if you know how to lab that, let me know. He's a not yo. He's a he's a nami. Do you do you do light orbiter or B orbiter? So I'm not sure which one you're doing. Wait, but astro no. But the guys on the no, there's not, no, there's not enough for it. No, she had astro. She got to hit. But I wait. I saw it hit. I saw it hit eight though. No, it was nine. She spun a bar. Oh crap. Okay, Blake manages to finish it off though. Phew, that was scary. Damn. And is that one to one? You know what? I you I use I'm a I'm a commit to red here on, on the votes. I'm, I'm a commit to red here. Okay. You get a th you get a thousand of my heart. You get one thousand and ninety of my hard on points. Don't fail me. Smile. No pressure. <laughs> Let us. No, I believe. I believe in her. She's gonna do the thing. I I, I know she will. We're going to see the thing, chat. Alright, go ahead and place your bets and predictions as you will for the Red, red Roses do, and Hot. I, I know exactly what Red's gonna do. She's gonna do the thing, get in the neutral, and then bop their face in. It's gonna be easy. You know? I mean, it sounds easy enough. You can't escape. Yeah. The throw combo is throw 236A, oh, 5B, a, it's 5B, a, okay, delay, A, lamp. Hang on, let me copy and paste that's this. Hang need, on. That's all I needed to know. I, um, all I needed to know is if it was a, it was a orbiter or B orbiter. I could do the rest. I just don't do delayed. I don't do delayed record combos because they're difficult to do in this game. Right, because not gonna lie, I want to learn. I want to learn that shit. The two B beat that. Keep it safe, DP. Get off me. Don't touch me, wrench. Two B. Give me your face. Uh uh. Uh, let's pitch it. Uh, uh. This was high orbiter, com orbiter combo. Two way again. Give me your face. Now. Punch. Gone. Alright, it's solo nine. Xeno can't get it. Oh. Okay, it's not over just yet. Alright, she's working. Oh, random time, just barely. Kills high Damn. anyway, though, with, the, with one of the Scarlet Veins. Text the throw. I taught her that. Oh, no, the Scarlet Vein missed. The Warrior's fun, it's Yank. Does it punish the throw? 2B! Bro, how did 2B so cleanly stop that option? Don't you love how 2B gets armor instead of head in the vault? Hey, one of those times where the trade-off is just the reasons that no, we can't explain. There's, there's nowhere near just. Yank should have heaven, will not armor. Fight me. All right, Aizanami goes up on the board. We are on match there's point two, one. question mark. Right is on the road, favor. but I believe in her. She's going to do the thing. She's, she's, she's going to do it. I know she will. Let us see. As we're getting ready to close in on the, the top four, top three scenario, let me know if you guys have any grudge matches or exhibitions you want to throw out there. Let me know before we get before we conclude it. That way, I can chalk it into my game plan. In it's funny the raid how post. it's funny how Randos complain about Yang to be even though it's just a regular end here. I would be real. I complain a little. I don't complain about it that much. It's just like man, this shouldn't have armor. You just need yes. head and bolt in the story. Or if you're going to give it armor, let it have armor when she's an eye burn. But you know, that's the, the design of the characters. We're complaining, it means you don't own a matchup. So, just getting that lab work. 
Well, it just had armor there, so if it has both, it's a little overkill. If you have one or the other. First, it is a low crush after a while, so I guess it kind of needs to have both. I don't know. I don't design this game here. I just, I just play and commentate, okay? I'm not meant to. I'm meant to use, not meant to use all my brain cells. They dried out, okay? I'm a Corgonic player. We don't have many of those. Throw attack, but misses. Do it, do it to Smokey Oki right now. Oh, bro, that's a lot of block and. Yamazami no Ima is in trouble right now. No Yama Izanami is getting hit. It might. Oh, never mind. They just fall out of it. Now we're just playing some neutral 2B connect, but get stopped by the 6P. Namino Izanami is trying to get these hits in, but to no avail, Blake being really evasive. But gets this hit, Red is going to try to make this count. Red doesn't have much bar to make it work, though. Goes with a Morganite mix up, but just pushes out of the corner, putting herself in the corner, and hit with the overhead. Izanamino Mama gets to kill the Blake. It's now down to solo nine. What a- No! That's so bad! Oh my and gosh, that takes, happy birthday was so clean. Too. Just getting out of the corner and snatching out of thin air! Look at her go! My, my, my. We are on match point. Match point. It is now 2-2. Two, two. Final game, final round. Who will take the cake in this glorious adventure? Don't mind me, I'm just holding up my art. I'm holding up my Red Leg Roses picket sign right now. Uh oh. Yang and Akatsuki, that's not good. It's him! Yang and Akatsuki. The mid tier Wait a terror. He knows Akatsuki? It's the mid tier terror, Akatsuki. Oh man, Mr. Hands. Nobody got time for this man. It's, I'm gonna land 5B and you're gonna like it. <laughs> All right, chat. We have the return of Mr. Hands. So debatable, you could this matchup got a little bit worse for uh, Yam Izanami no Mama now. Ah, uh, Yamazami no Yama is playing some neutral right now. Neutral. Ooh, we're we're, we're fist to My turn to start calling mix. Mix. Get block. hit with the low. Low, high, high. Bang. Damn, that's, that's a lot of mix. Ooh, doesn't have enough time. Who much hit the K? He's hit with the overhead. And we're in there. It's now, it's now even Yam, it's even Izanami's turn. Yamazami lands to 5A, but gets stopped by the Blake 4P. But, but Red gets knocked out of the Scarlet Vein. Bro. DP's back. Let the player, let him take a turn. DP's right back. I can get off back. of it. Don't touch me. Play me at the tournament. I, I mean, I'm down. Hey, I'll, I'll get post? beat up, but I'm down. <laughs> I'll definitely dock that. That sounds like a good matchup. All right, Red's Red's gonna end up losing her nine here. It's gonna be down to solo blink. It's a healthy, a healthy gang. It's not like a good. Here we go. But yeah, but Red could do it. I believe in her. She could do it against either Yamada, the, 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 the Akatsuki, and Foot Guy. I gotta see some run up. And this is the interesting thing that we were just talking Got about in chat line. earlier about the whole having Blake as a as an anchor. Gets the hit this time. This won't kill, but Akatsuki's in low health. Close though. Takes one more good hit, and Akatsuki will end up going down. Super to get Akatsuki out of here. It hits them both. That's done the Yang. This is pretty bad for Yang. Yang doesn't do very well in this matchup. But if she can get a couple good hits, Yang can't possibly kill. Astro is on the table for Izanami no Mama here. DP, get off me. No, Astro. Astro is off the table. We get hit with the EX Bottle Rocket back. That's just trying to hit anything. JP connects, but nothing happens. Gets hit with the EX Teleport. Oh my gosh. Red misses a 5A link, though, but it's all good. No! D Red! Bro, that was Red gets tight as minute. tight could be. No! It's Jover! Nama no Iza Mama takes it 3 2. Oh. Game, set, match, decision to Hana. I didn't know these two had an intro, and I find it interesting how Akatsuki questions Yang holding a shotgun on her wrist while he has an engine in his stomach. 
<laughs> nah, Red, the report is well spent. I'll, I'll ride or die with you, fam. Nah, we Red, homies. that was good. No, nah, Red, sweetie, that, that was, was good, good shit. Stuff, you though. did really that was good, good out stuff, there. That was good stuff, bro. <laughs> He's a naughty man. The joke is, I, ch I, ha I can't say the names the same twice. I have to change it up every time I say it. Yeah, I think. Did these two fight before? I feel like they Yeah, they did. Before. Yeah, they did. And winners. If I didn't know any better, I think... Actually, now, right, now I agree with Midnight. You you, you messed up these names kind of nicely. <laughs> it doesn't be funny because it just looks complicated. It's just looks complicated. It's like, you're going to read it wrong. That's why I just call him Hana. Like, when I first met him, that's I just called him Hana. But he's a nom and yo mama. Sounds funnier. <laughs> yes. But that's, that's not some... I don't know, he'll type it up on PlayStation. I bet you that's actually some dude's name. <laughs> Probably. Alright, Yamazama no Mama running the gang hide, going back to the tried and true. Meanwhile, Midnight's running the Adachi Ruby. Ooh, we got the good theme? Ah, oh, it's about to be a good match. It's about to be good right here, boys. Get the popcorn. Right. Losers Finals is up. Bets will be up no now. No 5A? As we have the run back part 2. No 5A on route start? What is this? What kind of weird reality we live in? Alright, we're gonna see some Ruby Bombos. Sisterly Violence. Gotta love it. Then tag out in time so it gets the burst for free. Get this reset. But it to hit Big Sad. Zio. <laughs> when in doubt, Zio it out, you know? Tick throw. Give me your face. You don't need it. Namazami no Yama is getting hit right now. It's not looking very so, good for him. Yamazama good. gets reset. It's your mama get hit! Oh, never mind. She checked that. It's all good. Bets are up now, chat. Izanama, your mama does a super in neutral. But does it, but does it get punished? This is the oldest trick in the book. Gets the hit on Hyde. Izanama, no mama could be down a character, but nah. Yamazama, no mama gets, gets out. Oh, mashes! No! Adachi's dead. But don't worry, Ruby's got this. It's just not gonna get hit easy. See, watch. What's that DP? Heidi gets tapped low. Now it's between the two. This is two between the two Rose sisters. Can Imanam and Abamba get. Either Bamba gets hit right here. Astro's on the table right now for Ruby. It took too long, but it's okay. He's an ominous bomba goes down, and Midnight takes the one game. So it's one for e for Midnight and zero for Eza Bomba. My brain is running at a million miles per minute right now, if you could tell. All right, man. Midnight will take the first game of Losers Finals, old bean. Whew, I, I didn't mean to drink a water. That, that, that was a lot of talking. Whew. I need a breather. Up, oh, never mind. They're getting right back into it. No breathing. We see how Midnight Ooh, will adjust Akihiko as... Steam now. I'm not against it. Pretty fire. Hey, Akihiko Steam is actually pretty good training music. I'm not gonna lie. Like... I mean, he does train a lot. He gets his confirmed. 2B says, no you. No, you're, it's your turn, sis. Come here. I'm gonna have some hands down on you. Some sisterly love hands, you know? Basically, and damn, that's a solid 7k out of nowhere, damn. That DP hitting when it shouldn't have. That DP hitting when it, when it didn't need to, Overhead. got all the damage you needed Give in the end. Doesn't get the combo though, big sad. Zio. Zio. Again. Block the mix up. Gets hit. Just go for the combo rather than just cashing out right there. You get these nice Adachi combos right now. You have to cash out and go to the 2C and there. Zio, you got the wrong. Get hit. There shouldn't be a dead hide here. Namazama Yomiyama is getting, hit, getting real schmooed on right now. Hide is down. Now it's down to Solo Yang, the thing that's been rocking all tournament. Goes to the DC, does a hit. Dodges the 6P with the invul. They still have I Burn. EX Bardock gets the hit there, but nothing to confirm into. He's talking too fast. EX Bardock again. I'm doing it again. Do it a third time. Come on, I'm a doing your mama. No, oh, oh, she got hit. Unfortunate. It's over. Butterock again. You hit with the low, but the throw doesn't connect. Yamazama, Yama, text the throw. Yamazama blocks the left right. 
Goes for the throw, but the throw misses! Well, Midnight said... Bops the sister in the nose! It is now bullying down to Adachi versus Yang. Adachi lands a hit in the air, but it does not work out. Gets hit with the low! Namazama no Yama Izanami is getting this hit! But that doesn't end up in any good Oki! Gets hit Damn. with the throw! This could be- We know this is- Gets to go with the resonance because it's carrying this freaking balance! Wait, no, it's just an astral! Oh no! Oh, this man's gonna do him dirty. This man Midnight did the deed. Midnight Astral's Imanama and the Zamba Bamba's character! Solid force and Yang's gonna there get you to go, the chat. rope and then destroyed! Solid Adachi Astral. We got a body for the night, boys. We, have, we got at least one. It's not Astral Rules, but hey. It's about sending the message. Midnight UV, 2-0. Over Ethan Nominal Bomba. I tell you, that's actually like what? That's like the the third or fourth time tonight an Astral's been on the table, but this is, but it actually was taken. This time it actually resolved. Yeah. All right, it's just Ethan Nominal Bomba's last sometimes. chance. Will Ethan Nominal Hamba Bomba Chamba pull out what they need to do in order to win, or will it be a 3 0 landslide? Let us see what they are going to do. They Get stick with ready. the Ruby, the Yang High. They are going to stick it out with this team. Hey, I, wait. When in doubt, the main team will win it out. I mean, not all the time, but hey, whatever you're comfortable with, you know. Yeah. Two C round start. What kind of messed up world is this? I go see some neutral. Ooh, almost a happy birthday. 5 Pikachu is high, knocking him out of the way, so now it's their turn to start throwing stuff. Here's an Amino Bomba Hama gets hit, but now it gets turned to a mix up. DP says, Get off me. Here's an Amino Hama gets hit low. I'm banging your mama gets cut in this air confirm. So Yang is quickly dead, but no, Yang's are kind of just in time. The 4P isn't, isn't stopping the aggression. There's some Yang and I burn going to distortion to probably get Yang out of there. That's a nice 8k. Gets hit with the orbiter. Ducks out of the overhead. Zio. Oh no! Oh, that was bad. Luckily, Yang took peace up at combo, people. So the thing about Yang 6P is that I think it actually wall splats, but if you make the screen move forward in me, it'll most likely drop the combo. It is really bad at actually finding the combo, people. How is, that such, a good, how is that such a good combo, but it's bad at comboing people? Because when the wall moves forward, they have a chance to fall out. So you gotta stay still until she's done, or she gets the wall splat. Whack. Oh, how no Izayama gets hit? This is looking like a dead character, but how but am I gonna- This is like a 2 The yeah, GOAT! Clean. The GOAT! Clean. Clean. Zio, get out of here. Tama no Yama gets grabbed! This isn't looking good! Goes for the stylish stuff! This is gonna be a pickup! Cash up! Burn to a crisp! You think your swords aren't cool, but it's no BS smack! All right, one last game for Izanama, Hamanama. Hamanama uses the Resonance Blaze. Hamanama has Astral on the table, so Hamanama can Astral back. Another revenge for last round was Hamanama. Hamanama gets hit! And then game 3-0 for Midnight Yubi over Hamanama, no Izanama. My brain is dysfunctioning. We don't have to come up with something different. I know I repeated the Damn, a that of is times. a check and mato. Midnight Yubi taking it 3-0 over you. He's a- he's a- I'm a stop. <laughs> I'm ready got a day. <laughs> 3-0 over Hana. In the 3-0 scenario. I can only remix that name so we have the friend brain just kind of stops functioning. Alright, with Loser's Finals still completed, we are now moving on to Grand Finals. Master Chief versus Midnight Yubi. Yep, and I do believe Master Chief will be in the defending position once again. Correct, 
Ethan Nomino Hamlin did a great job out here. Fantastic show. We walk away with third place. Ethan Nama, Alama Mojama, Oba. <laughs> you know what, Red? Bahamas. You know what, Red? You got a pocket. <laughs> you got a pocket. <laughs> Alright, Chief, get up here. Let's end this. It's a, it's a Mexican standoff now. Alright, let me make a note here. So, alright, Red with Blake, Midnight, Ruby, Shira, Yang, U, S, Moi, Rachel, Cheap, Ragna, Blake, Ruby, Yang, and who's the other, who's the last dude? Top eight, let me, hang on, let me look. I present to you grand final. Master Chief of Wednesday Night Fight versus Midnight Yumi. Midnight Yumi's been dominating the comments and clawing themselves from losers bracket all the way back up here to show their stuff. Now here they go against the infamous Master Chief with his patented Ragnamika versus Ragni And Ragni. chat you already know Adachi Ruby as finals descends on the land once again we'll with Master Burst Chief. Party. To defend his championship, let's rock and roll. As we have one of the Ruby Heralds of Blaze Blue champion. online, Midnight we get Ruby. A new Ruby champion, or we could end up getting a repeat. Let's see if it's a rerun or a new episode. Welcome to the pit stage. Bets will be going up in one minute. Goes for the safe jump again. DP though, get off me. And Ruby down because it's his, his cross combo on the thing. Unfortunate. It's gonna be just Adachi, but Adachi can probably fight both of these characters relatively well, you never know. Ooh, Zio gets ignored. Zio more like Zeno. He gets hit with a cross up missile. It'll be a free confirm from Mika here. The Titus the Resident is rather taking the hit. Goes with the distortion! That's not good. That's not good at all. Alright, game Master one. Master taking it. The first game, 1-0. Sheep going on a massive late leg up here. This point, really equates to two, seeing how Midnight's in loser's bracket. So this equates to two points right now. Let's see if... Midnight Yubi can pull it together and figure out what they gotta do to sit here and get these dubs. Seem to get something going the first game. See if they can figure out what they had right. Gets this nice connect, putting them back to full screen. You get some nice zoning going on, a little bit of chip. Mix up. Cheap blocks though, because Cheap's got light. Gets the hit with the J with the JB, but no confirm. Zio will get to pick up with Ruby. Burst change we're gonna get punished again by you by Midnight Yumi in the same way as before. Let me do with this, some of this pressure, but Ruby doesn't get out in time, so we get some chip damage tacked on her, but gets tackled by the EX missile again. This time that counter hit at least. Super doesn't work. Let me do the JC gets finished with the Adachi, so they get to pick up here. Now, Master Chief should have laid on some hurt. Just for it again. But doesn't get the punish in time. I mean, we're not gonna get the punish with the Garden Skizzers. Hey. Why have I connect? Look at the resonance. Blocks it all the Hades, but forget the second hit exists. Goes with the throw. Gets 4A for the punish. This is going neck and neck, people, but Yubi can still pull the sucker. He's too beat for his trouble. And dies. Unfortunate. Man, you hate to see it, you know? And Cheap, of, of, Cheap, of course, skips the win pose where Mika gets beat up. Hate it here. Cheap knows what I want. He won't give it to me. I'm mad about We're it. On. It is 2-0. Cheap is now on match point. Can Yumi get the letter and figure out what is going on in order to make this match a possibility to win here? Or are they going to go for a team change? Seems that mean that Yumi taking a breather, and they are. They're going back to the start to Ruby Nauto here. Get ready. 
Let's see what they go. Let's see what they can do. You know. Let's, let's see if they can pick up the pace. Get this dub. Get this bread. You know. Everything on the line here. This is the final game. As it now descends upon land. Let us see how this turns out. No five eight round start. I'm disappointed. A lot of stray hits from this Ragna here. Just a cross up. Actually, Burst punishes him with the 2B this time. Gonna mark the Mika for putting her for death. Mark Child. Push blocks to avoid the overhead. A little bit of a lag spike here, but it works out in Cheek's favor here. And it proceeds to 5A the Mika missile. Tries to shoot the Mika missile. Let's projectile invul, by the way. Cheap having no meter though, so not a lot of well Cheap has a meter now. I was gonna say he didn't have meter, but now he does. Get the burst, get the burst in in time to save the Ragna. Ragna looking pretty low. DP gets punished, it's not looking good. Looking kinda snasty. Manages to call in the Ragna just in time. Ruby lives a tiny bit though. Call it Hades, I'm pretty sure Jump Cast one took a hit. Ragna gets hit! Auto combo, Ace and Jay, moving around in the way just in time. No, DP just barely nicks her. No, me gets the Jay. A hit is not looking good. Yumi can possibly kill for weak turns and get a hit, but it's not looking good right now for Yumi. There's a resonance blaze. Mika, so she's the Mika missile, but Mika missile is a bunch of felon votes. Is it over? And Master Chief takes it 3 0. Yui putting up a fantastic fight, but it just not. Oh, going you know, in I forgot favor. that. I forgot that bullshit shoot projectiles. I forgot that. That Mika makes, that, that makes sense that Mika literally go everybody. through that because of the projectile invul. I have a joke theory that the, that it's not that she goes through them. The joke is that she's so. She's propelling herself so fast and just bounce off her. She doesn't feel them. Bet. Uh oh. That, and Master Chief takes it 3 0. As a 3 0 scenario. As... Congratulations to Master Chief, our returning Iacon champion. Yeah. And it will now be a four time Iacon champion, having successfully defended the championship. Great work to everybody. Oh, good work. You all good did work, Yumi. And now, as guys. requested, I will now go get beat up by Yumi, as requested. Alright, well, while you're doing that, let me sort this stuff out here in the background. Let me know if you wanted, if you do want a first to three or a first to five. Let's see, so let me bring up Church. So, the winner of Iacon Battle Circuit, the 10th here tonight, and a four time winner of Iacon is Master Chief. For any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to hit me up via my socials on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram. TikTok as sorts, or if you guys seek to join in the next Icon Battle Circuit that comes through the FGC, feel free to hit me up, or just be in the Discord, whichever is readily available to your convenience. I appreciate you guys pulling through. Um... Ah, there we go. Took me a minute to find it. Alright, have a good one out there, chat. Much love, always. And like I always say, till all are one.